Thank you for following Knockout Crypto. You can find us on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Supporting our channel. Um, I just want to bring you guys some news that I thought was really important to the channel. Um, Bit license regulator approves two USD peg cryptocurrency tokens. One of the strictest cryptocurrency regulatory regimes in the United States has approved proposals from two companies under its oversight to issue cryptocurrency tokens whose values are pegged to the US dollar. This is kind of like Tether or, or True USD. In a statement, uh, NYDFS approves two stable coins. A statement published Monday, the New York Department of Financial Services, creator of the Bit License Framework for Cryptocurrencies, current companies confirmed that it had given two chartered companies, Gemini Trust and Paxios Trust Company, permission to begin issuing these so called stable coins to clients. At present, stable coins, the most well known, which is Tether, USDT are frequently used on cryptocurrency exchanges where they function as proxies for actual USD on platforms that do not have regular, regulatory authorization to hold fiat currency on behalf of their clients. However, proponents argue that they serve an even larger role in international commerce since USD denominated transactions executed with cryptocurrency tokens can settle in seconds versus three or, four, three or more business days when using actual dollars. Stablecoin critics have argued that these tokens have been used to manipulate the Bitcoin price and facilitate other financial crimes, including money laundering, which is why the NYDFS said it only approved these two applicants after receiving assurance from Gemini and Paxos that their tokens will be subject to effective risk-based controls and appropriate BSA, AML, and OFAC controls to prevent the Gemini dollar or the Paxos standard token from being used in conjunction with money laundering or terrorist funding. Terrorist financing. Maria T. Vungo, superintendent of the NYDFS, held the development as confirmation that a strong state regulatory framework does not inhibit innovation in the financial sector. She said, as the financial technology marketplace continues to evolve, New York is committed to fostering innovation while ensuring responsible growth. These approvals demonstrate that companies can create change and strong standards of compliance within a strong state regulatory framework that safeguards regulatory entities and protects consumers. Paxos Gemini lists USD pegged cryptocurrency tokens. CCN, CCN already reported that the NYDFS had approved a proposal from Gemini, the cryptocurrency exchange founded by Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss, to create a stablecoin called the Gemini dollar. However, Paxos, operator of the institutional cryptocurrency exchange and custodial service ITBIT, and another NYDFS charter recipient also received approval, approval to release a stablecoin, Paxos Standard. Like GUSD, Pax is structured as an ERC-20 token on the Ethereum blockchain and is backed by physical dollars custodial into FDIC-insured USD bank accounts. Those reserves will purportedly allow Pax to maintain a $1 peg no matter what happens in the wider cryptocurrency markets. Both tokens can be redeemed for USD from their respective issuers. Paxo standard gives financial markets the power to transact in a full USD collateralized asset with the benefits of blockchain technology and oversight from financial regulators, says Charles Cascarilla, CEO and co-founder of Paxos. We believe that Paxo standard represents a significant advancement in digital assets, leveraging the oversight and stability of the traditional finance system and enabling a frictionless global economy. In the current marketplace, the biggest hindrance to digital asset adoption are trust and volatility. As a regulated trust with a one-to-one dollar collateralized stable coin, we believe that we are offering an asset that improves on the utility of money. I think it's very important that last sentence, the biggest hindrance to digital asset adoption are trust and volatility. Uh, and that's something that's big. We want to have more trust. We want to have more volatility. We want to get rid of those two things. And those are two things that they're working on. And having a one-to-one dollar collateralized stable coin that is actually being regulated and being backed. I mean, one of the biggest faults with Tether, a lot of people felt like they didn't have third-party auditors coming in and auditing the account. But now with um, Paxos and Gemini Token, you have the New York um, Department of Financial Services saying, you know, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna you know, have effective risk-based controls and um, BSA and AML. Um, controls and they're going to regulate the stable tokens. So as you can see, it's going to be pretty big. And we also saw that IBM has a stable token coming out called Stronghold. So you know, a stable token is the key to getting um, more widespread mass adoption. More widespread mass adoption means you know the price of Bitcoin will go up, and that would benefit all of us because the price of Bitcoin is the start of the bull market. 
So thank you for following Knockout Crypto. Let me know what you think about the video. Hopefully I was able to um, you know, explain this as best I can to you guys. And I hope, but let me know what you think about this. This is a big step forward from cryptocurrency. It just means cryptocurrency is going more mainstream. Um, so this is great. And so let me know what you think. Thank you for following Knockout Crypto. Um, oh, like, subscribe, and comment on the video. Oh, subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. Like the videos, and we really appreciate your support. Thank you.